welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to cover atomic spectra. You can learn more about the structure of the atom and calculations involved in this using videos linked in the description box below. Today's video is going to look at the two different types of atomic spectra, atomic emission spectra and atomic absorption spectra. In this video we will look at how these spectra are obtained. First let's look at the structure of the atom. This is a simple Bohr model of an atom. The blue circle represents the nucleus. The circles around are the energy levels where you will find the electrons. These are the principal energy levels. n equals 1, n equals 2 and n equals 3. Electrons can be move between these levels only if a specific amount of energy is applied. In an atomic emission spectra, a sample is heated in a flame. This excites the electrons from their ground state into an excited state. They then fall back to ground state and emit photons of light. These photons of light can be gathered through a slit and this can then be passed through a prism. Once the light has been passed through a prism, this will split up the different wavelengths and we can see that we get a black background with coloured lines. Each of these coloured lines represents one transition of an electron falling back down to ground state. In atomic emission spectra, electrons are excited to higher energy levels by heat. They fall back down to ground state and release photons of light. The energy of these photons is equal to the difference between the levels. A line is seen on the spectrum for each wavelength of photon for each transition. The more intense the light emitted, the larger the sample is. In atomic absorption spectra, the sample is first atomized. Electromagnetic radiation is then applied to the sample. This excites some of the electrons to higher energy levels. The rest of the light can then be passed through a slit and then a prism. We then get a spectrum where we can see missing lines on the spectrum. These missing lines represent the electrons being excited to higher energy levels using the electromagnetic radiation. In atomic absorption spectra, the sample is atomized and electromagnetic radiation is applied. This excites electrons to higher energy levels by absorption of specific photons. Their wavelengths will be missing from a full spectrum. Specific wavelengths are absorbed which have energy equal to the difference between the levels. Thank you for watching my video, I hope that you found it helpful. Please remember to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of new videos. You can also follow me on Twitter at Miss Adams Chem and Instagram Miss Adams Chemistry for updates on new videos and flashcards throughout the year. Bye for now!